How many times have we heard that a person is going through a midlife crisis? Oh, I'm really down. I'm just going through my midlife crisis. What is a midlife crisis? A midlife crisis is when you come to the point in your life where you begin to realize that most of the sand is at the bottom of the hourglass as opposed to the top. You begin to realize you're running out of time. You're sort of midway through. It might hit you at 40 or 45, somewhere along the way. And it's an interesting concept because that's when people all of a sudden want to look younger and get Botox and get a different car and, and uh, you know, put a chain around their neck and try to make themselves l uh, look younger than they are, trying to cling to life. That's kind of the midlife crisis. And advertising makes a lot of money on this. They're always pushing, trying to make you look better healthier, eat this, do that, exercise this way, take this diet, drink, what have you. It's always designed to cling on to life. And so they present things as everybody going through a midlife crisis. However, Methuselah lived to be 969 years. And the Bible says, and he died. But you can read where people died at 30 years of age in Scripture. The Bible says life is a vapor. It knows nothing of a midlife crisis for one simple reason. Eternal life has no midpoint. So if you have eternal life, there is no midpoint. You're already into eternal life. There is no place where there's a midlife crisis, all right, unless you buy into what the world has to say. I often think of Methuselah. When he got to be, say, 450 years old, did he turn to his wife and say, honey, where have the centuries gone? I think I'm experiencing a midlife crisis. Why, it seems like just yesterday, little Freddie was 300. You know, what, what, what kind of a d discussion went on? And yet, Methuselah, 969 years, a child may die at 10, and the Bible says both lived the same length of time. It was a vapor. We have to keep this in perspective or we'll wind up suffering a midlife crisis.